So once you have imported GUFO into your newly created ontology, you can now start uh, creating the elements of your ontology. For example, here we'll start subclassing some of these uh, classes in the taxonomy of individual to create uh, some uh, classes of our own ontology. So here, say we're interested in uh, persons and in their marriage. So we can uh, create the classes person and marriage as subclasses of the taxonomy of individuals here. So, for example, we can decide that, um, that persons are functional complexes, so that they are, you know, endurance, that are objects that, have, that may have parts playing different roles in their compositions. So here we go, um, adding a subclass person. So every person is a functional complex. And we may also create here um, as a relator, uh, a specialization of relator, a marriage class. And because of the, the object properties that are already defined, we can, uh, which, which include here mediates, which has as domain relator, and as ranges endurance, we can now instantiate uh, John, instantiate Mary, instantiate their marriage and connect them by using mediation. So here we go. Um, we can create those instances such as John and Mary and instantiate their marriage. And we can select John and Mary's marriage and add as an object property by reusing those uh, object properties that are available already because of GFO, such as mediates, and we can say that John and Mary is married, mediate, mediate John, and mediate, so this is the result of complete here, mediates uh, Mary as well. So having done that, I now save the ontology so we can check the serialization of this. So I would, I would select here turtle syntax because of its readability. And then I will open um, this file in VBS in, 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 uh, code. So I was just, uh, you know, rewrite the marriage.tdl file. And here now we have the serialized ontology that we just uh, created. So here we go. Um, marriage is a class that subclasses relator. Person is a class that subclasses functional complex. John is a person, Mary is a person, and their marriage is a marriage. And mediate, so here we have the reuse of the mediates um, object property that John and Mary's marriage mediates John and John and Mary's marriage mediates Mary. So we have the refied um, relationship that they have uh, established in their wedding. Um, and we can go further creating other kinds of elements. So here, for example, we could uh, create specific kinds of events. So for example, we could add a subclass of event, which is the wedding event that creates their marriage. So here we have the wedding event and we can also uh, use object properties now between the wedding event and the marriage. For example, we could say that um, the marriage as an endurant, as this relator that connects them was created in that wedding event. So now we can create here the wedding event. So, you know, this is now John and Mary's wedding ceremony. Um, and we can add as a property that of, of now of their marriage, the, not only that it mediates John and Mary, but also that it was created in John and Mary's wedding ceremony.
So again, if I save this and I check the serialization of that, we see now here that there's a, an event class, weddings, so specific instances of wedding, like John and Mary's uh, wedding ceremony, are instances of wedding, they are events, and because they are events, they can be uh, in the range of was created in, which is an object property that connects an endurance such as John and Mary's marriage and events. So the event was created in John and Mary's marriage. Uh, there are many uh, object properties that can be reused. They are all uh, documented uh, in um, this uh, the main website of GUFO. The main website has um, a usage guide with different usage scenarios such as the ones that I'm showing you here and then a description of all of the taxonomy of individuals and of the taxonomy of types and there's also a reference table of contents. So if you go for example for the reference table of contents there will be every class with a description and the relations between them and there's also the object properties. So for example if we check the ones that we just used, such as um, was created in, here we have that, you know, was created in identifies the event which brought the endurance into the existence. In this particular case, it was John and Mary's uh, marriage that was uh, brought into existence in, in their wedding. Um, and, you know, all other uh, elements uh, of data properties and so on are all documented here. So we could uh, continue extending this example, for example, to denote the, the, the when, when the wedding took place and so on. So for this, we can use uh, data properties if we want simple uh, temporal, um, temporal reference. So here we can, for example, use uh, just uh, XSD date literals um, in, their, uh, uh, in the specification. So let's say that we take here John and Mary's wedding ceremony and we now want to say when that occurred so we can reuse here the has begin point um, date and if we want more granularity we could use the date timestamp but here we just use dates so dates are uh, defined here as in, with the XML schema uh, date um, <clears throat> and just let's say that they're just uh, they just got uh, married uh, yesterday. Uh, made a minor mistake here. Uh, I don't need the quotes, so here we go. Um, now we have, um, if we check back in the serialization, we have now that John and Mary's wedding ceremony will have that date as a, a begin point. So um, here we go in the serialization. And we'll have now the use of the GUFO has begin point in XSD date uh, and a date literal associated to John and Mary's wedding ceremony. So many other uh, um, uh, object properties to choose from, um, and they are all documented in the pro.org slash nemo slash doc slash GUFO website.